voice. One of us said he heard the word that when you don't know what else to do, just begin to celebrate God and begin to praise him. And he had a, a situation where a business he was doing last year went bad. And it was 10 million naira in debt. And they had told him that by Friday, if you don't pay, by I think 4 p.m. thereabout, you don't pay, you are, your case is being taken to EFCC. So he said, Thursday, he began to celebrate God, dance and praise and sing and jubilate. He said, I was, he said, he remembered God's hour and said, dance the can, it's not ordinary dance, but dance the type that you have not danced before. He began to dance and jump. He said, the security man was looking at him, thinking something has gone wrong with him. But the moment they think you have gone wrong, that's when you have gotten it right. So he began to dance and celebrate before the Lord. Now, Friday at 3 p.m., deadline was 4 p.m., somebody called him and said, God told me that there is an issue with you. And I should send you 10 million naira. The debt shattered. You know what? The people he was owing, when they saw the miracle, they followed him to church this morning. God will make a wonder out of you. I said, God will make a wonder out of you. God's servant said that some years ago, in 1984, thereabout, he said that he was, he was, you know, before the Lord. And suddenly the Lord spoke to him. And from the word of the Lord in Psalm 34 and verse 5, they looked unto him and they were lighted. And their faces were no longer ashamed. That is a word from the Lord that came into his spirit, man. And then the Lord spoke to him and said, he said, can you make your eyes to look up and look down at the same time? One eye to look up and the other one to look down. He said, I tried it. And when he couldn't, he said, the Lord said to him, he said, ne he said As he never, never try to be looking unto man and looking unto me. You can't do that. He said, but they looked unto me and they were lightened. And their faces were no longer ashamed. He said, from that point, he never looked to any man. You see, he found the word lighted into his spirit. Because the entrance of the word gives what? Light. Psalm 119 and verse 130. And because he decided to follow the condition of the light of the word, what happened? Suddenly, he saw himself being elevated. They looked unto him and they were lighted. And their faces were no longer ashamed. You keep hearing him say, everything you see in this commission, begging free, borrowing free. Why? Looking unto him only. Looking unto him only from one word received from God. You see, the word received from God has the capacity to make a star out of any individual. Shout hallelujah. It has the ability to make a star out of any individual. It has the ability to make a star out of any individual. The moment your life is lighted by the word and you commit yourself to the demands of the word, you will find a star in you rising supernaturally. I see that becoming somebody's experience in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot live a life of compromise and secure the honor of God. And please hear this. The honor of man is temporal, but the honor of God is eternal. When men respect you all just because of your own doing, it is always temporal. It's always temporal. You discover that even in the world we live today, even the names and the honor they are called to you with your name and, and how they call you, it is always temporal. Is that not so? It's temporal. It's temporal. There comes a point that the person who was saying, sir, 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 tells you, my friend, watch yourself. It's the same person. But suddenly something has changed. That honor that he had for you has been erased. But when God bestows honor upon you, it is eternal. It rests upon you in such a way that it keeps speaking continuously on your behalf. I see that honor coming afresh upon somebody here. I said, I see that honor coming afresh upon somebody here. I remember some years ago, I went to a particular place and I met a man. This man was one of the most senior men in the military in this country at some point, and he was retired. And the person who was with me introduced me to him. And he looked at me and he said, oh, ah, your father. We fear that man. He says, the one that will tell us how it is. 
and we just take it like that. I fear that man. You see, honor, honor, honor. But that kind of honor requires that you have no skeleton in the cupboard. It requires that you have no skeleton in the cupboard. You see, it is that honor that God has packaged for his people, but it is only at the frequency of purity. May each one of us today receive grace to keep walking in purity. <laughs>